Okay, well, welcome to Monitoring Reports, what we call our 10 Rules of Effective Report Writing. If you've been writing monitoring reports, it's maybe a refresher. We want you to just realize that it is an essential document. So we want to make sure that it's very properly written and timely written according to your SOPs. FDA and other regulators will be looking at those. If they do choose any of your sites for an inspection, they will pick up on all monitoring reports for that particular site. So it's very, very important that we get them written very accurately and completely. I do have the opportunity in my current position to write reports, more so auditing reports than monitoring reports, but I have a company that does monitoring, an independent group, and so more often than not, I'm reviewing the monitoring reports for those team members of mine. This has become, or always has been, a major issue for regulatory agencies. We need to remember that the monitoring reports are all auditable and our writing style is very important here. The regulatory agency gets the flavor of our monitoring and due diligence from their understanding of what is documented. As we've mentioned in corrective action, preventive action, and effective documentation is so critical. We see that in warning letters. Oftentimes an issue doesn't even get cited if we have done our good job of highlighting that we as monitors have Notice the deficiencies. We've worked with the site. We've facilitated with the site, and they've written a very good corrective action plan. They followed it up with a very good preventive action plan, and we have documented that both at the site and in our own monitoring visit reports. If we've done that really well, they very often will overlook that deficiency completely because there's really no reason for them to cite us again if we've taken care of it. Keeping in mind that our primary purpose for monitoring is, again, to make sure that the site is in compliance, and we've done everything we can as sponsors to maintain that compliance. If we are using a CRO, we need to remember that the sponsor is ultimately responsible. So we should be looking at their versions of reports as well to make sure that the monitoring visit reports are written correctly and that they've taken heed to that. We have some examples here where that may not be the case. The, the CRO might override what the individual monitor wrote in their own report. So we want to be looking at those monitoring reports as sponsors as well to make sure that everything has been covered. I often mention to, to uh, CRAs not just to write in the monitoring visit report, but rather if it's something critical to comment to their leadership. Don't trust the fact that they will someday find these documents in their reporting. Bring it up to their attention so we can get timely correction done to any of those corrective action, preventive action plans, because otherwise we're going to be cited as inadequate monitoring. We do have a number of handouts again in today's session, and we'll be highlighting many of those to you. Our learning objectives are going to be to examine the impact of poor report writing. Sometimes we don't even realize that it wasn't very clear. When we think about who looks at our documentation, it might be somebody who's not so familiar with the project itself, such as an inspector or a quality assurance person from our own company or a third party. So we need to make sure that we have accurate and complete, very clearly written reports. We're going to apply the definitions and the concepts of scientific report writing, keeping in mind that our visit report is a scientific report. Some sponsors take more attention to that scientific side of it than others, so you do need to pay attention to your own SOPs. We're going to give you the correct scientific way to write. Your company may take a little bit relaxed stance to that. We're going to implement our 10 rules of quality report writing for monitors. We'll apply those to the CRA activities, and we'll learn to better, perhaps, write action items, deviations, and queries. We find that established monitors do a very good job of writing the queries such that the coordinator can understand exactly what we're asking, and that saves a lot of time, and it also gets better detail. We also sometimes, as monitors, have to intercede with our data management queries. Some of those are not written too clearly, and the sites very often get frustrated because they're not sure what is being asked, or they feel that it's 
something that is not important that's being asked, and it may be repetitive. So often the monitor has to come between data management and the site in terms of understanding and perhaps even rewriting sometimes the queries. This is certainly a very important piece if we're using electronic submissions.